Coffee and Smash is cancelled. At least for the weekend. So, uh, welcome to uh, Coffee and Crash. I've got, uh, I've got one game left in the Insane Trilogy that I've still got to do. I've still got to do Crash 3. This is the last time that uh, I booted this up. You may recall. I did all of Crash 2, all Platinums in one sitting. And, and I died afterwards. But I've, I've gotten better. I'm, I'm better and I'm back now. And, uh... I feel obligated to finish off the trilogy before the release of, uh... Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. That's coming out. There it is. Division presents a smashing blast from the past. Developed by vicarious visions. Apparently. So I was looking up the the trilogy, not the trilogy, the, the the CTR remake just before this. I don't know if it'll be day one for me or not yet. I don't know if I if I care about it quite that much. Make sure everything everything should be the same as the the previous two games. But uh, it is, it's not announced for Steam yet. It is just on the three consoles, PS4, Xbox One, and uh, Switch. So I would consider getting it on Switch, but I would, I would like to get it on Steam for, you know, Achievos. Was a significantly less soul man than the original version. That polar bear has got to be warm. He's out of his element here. See how this goes in this version. It's been a couple years since we did the original Crash 3. Retroactively, his plan in two is to make a bunch of zombie slaves and then just rule them from in prison? It doesn't sound like he had a plan to get out. This was all an accident. Also, it's very echoey. You hear that? It's like it's in an echo chamber. Was that them trying to... To... No, it's fine now. It was just that was their attempt to capture the inside of the house was to make it echoey as shit. All right. So I will not pr almost. Certainly not be going all platinums in this. 
because uh, I didn't do it on the original Crash 3 stream. I did eventually do it off camera. So I have gotten all platinums in the original game. But it was, it took a long time. Because, it, partially because a lot of the levels in this game are not platforming levels. They, they kind of went overboard with the, 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 the gimmick, the vehicles. Crash, crash, crash. Why must you always Which makes, oh, makes it a lot harder to get all the platinums. At least for me, as someone who's, who's good at platforming games. I'm just, no, I'm just gonna say it makes it harder in general, because the, the, the non-platforming ones, you can tell that they're a platforming company trying to do something else. It's, ne it's not really perfect at what it does in any of them. And I have heard that in this version it's worse than the original. As far as like the the like the the motorcycle and the jet and the jet ski control worse than they did in Crash 3. Which I can believe for the jet ski, the jet ski was all right. I don't know how they could have made the motorcycle worse. That was just garbage in the, in on PlayStation. I will do my best not to spend the entire game complaining about the game, though, because no one wants to watch that. I do still enjoy Crash 3. I have to actually, uh, I have to check... I have to check what achievements I'm, uh, I'm missing in this so far. Because I haven't looked at those yet. And I'm hoping, I, I, I need to, uh, like, off-stream go back and make sure that I have all the achievements from Crash 1 and 2. Because I would like to, uh, even if I don't get all Platinums, I hope to get all Golds. And then I would, uh, perfect the game's achievements on stream, at least. That'd be nice. In fact, I can check that now. Somehow. Uh. Wait. Wait, what? No! Oh! Uh, so, new feature. Don't think this was in Crash Warped. Like Mario, pressing Start Select exits you from the level. Even if you don't pick Exit Level from the menu. Okay. Let's see. Oh, you guys can't see the Steam Overlay. I guess you could if it was a it was a it was a screen capture. I'm just I'm checking real quick what uh, what I have left to do. Achievements, chivos. Here we go. Uh, crash two. Ninety nine lives. Defeat Tiny Tiger. Oh no, that's Crash 3. So it looks like I got all of the non-hidden ones for Crash 1 and 2, except for the 99 lives thing. I can go back and do that. I'll have to look up what the hidden achievements are. Alright, that's something I'll do later. Well, I guess... I mean, at least in Mario, you had to beat the level first. Not that, I, I mean, I guess it's nice that you can exit out just immediately, but, I mean, there's just a, a quit for that. Honestly, it would be nicer to have a, uh, like, a start select that restarts the trial in time trials, because that, that's something you end up hitting a lot more than exit level. Maybe it does that. I guess we'll have to see. I'm not going to be going for the time trials until, uh... Until after I beat the regular game, because, you know, the speed shoes. Same as Crash 2. Man, I gotta do all 
this again. I'm good. I'm fine. That's enough. I'm feeling better today than yesterday. Anyone who uh, watched our Kingdom Hearts stream. Pacifist mode. Ain't gotta kill no frogs. I'll try to do this kind of briskly. Because it's not really something I should need, like, all the lives and fruits for. This game. Unless we get to like a motorcycle and jet, no, those don't cost you lives. Those, those, uh, those kinds of levels. Oh, I should have let him do the dance at least once. Uh, oh, X button, not the PlayStation X button, the Xbox X button, X button. Oh no. Water levels. Maybe they'll be better. The water levels were pretty not good in original Crash 3. Although after having uh, gotten the relics in them, just going through for uh, boxes I mean, that, that's not that bad, comparatively. Ow. Just do a rapid flappy swim. Flappy bandicoot. I know they did change some of the times for uh, this, the Insane Trilogy, between original Crash 3 and this one. I don't know how much of that is because it was necessary, because mechanics function a little differently, or if they were just feeling generous and wanted to make it easier or harder. I think they actually did make sometimes harder, or at least more strict. Maybe there are mechanics in the game or the engine that make you go faster so that uh, even with the lower times, it's not as difficult. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, oh, okay, I'm good. We're fine. It's one of those levels that I feel like I'm just gonna miss one box and not know where it was. I think that happened last time. With this or the other water level? Also got a croc still. A disproportionate number of my solo streams, which I haven't been doing as much of, but a disproportionate number of them have just been crash because I went through the original games and now I, pre I it immediately came out with the Insane Trilogy once I was done with those, so we kind of went right on to playing them again, but updated. We were going through the rest of the games. We did uh, Crash Bash. Me and Jack did that. I played through uh, the original CTR. And Wrath of Cortex. So I would... If not for the trilogy, my next game would be uh, Nitro Kart. Which I'll still be getting to. I do, I am interested in playing the Nitro Field, especially, uh, especially since it's, it, it's, a, it would be, if it's not on Steam, I'm considering still getting it on the Switch, because it's night, I like the Switch's mobile capabilities. Just go hang out, play Crash 
carding in my room. That'd be cool. But that's, I really only want to do that after I feel like I know it's not coming to Steam. I wonder if the uh, technical difficulties they had here with uh, this game on Steam could have related to that. Because there, there was a bad microphone issue that kind of kind of ruined the first, the, the Crash 1 streams. That, uh, that, as far as I know, the devs never fixed. A, uh, a random person on the Steam forums had to make a DLL to address the issue. To make the game, you know, streamable. No! Damn it. End me. Take me. Oh no, that's I know okay, I need a pit. Fortunately, crash one, this is not. And I can die and still get the gem. Even in Crash One Insane Trilogy, that was not the case. This feels slower. This feels like they lowered the tiger speed. Oh, can I, uh... Can I Coco the regular levels? I didn't try yet. Relics like these I could do immediately, because it's, uh, it's a rail level. I don't need the running shoes, but uh, I kind of want to save it for when I am going through the relics, because uh, then I'll have something to look forward to. Hello? Where are we going? Oh. Later. Not now. Not yet. It's the uh, secret. Well, not secret. The bonus deal. Not is it DLC? No, it's just an extra level they added for the Insane Trilogy. Uh, what button is that? Is that it? Yes. No. Uh, okay, I'll save. Now, there it is. All right. I want to save the, like, the tiger levels for when I'm going through the rest of the relics, so I have something to look forward to. I've said this before, I'm not as big a fan of the locales in this game as opposed to the previous one. I don't know, Middle Ages and dinosaur stuff isn't as fun to me as the, as the settings we had in Crash 2. Crash 1, even. It's got like, uh, it's got like a weird kind of Sonic Advance syndrome where the, the settings are too diverse from one another, and so they start feeling kind of random and arbitrary. Like Sonic runs through a desert and suddenly winds up on an ice cap, a, mo a mountain summit. And then he's under the ocean, and, and then he's, he's in a toxic plant or something. I don't know. There's not really a... I mean, that was kind of always the case in Sonic, where the, the, the zones... Kind of just go everywhere. 
it just felt for some reason really noticeable in the advanced games. So I don't think I can get all of the crates in this one until I have the red gem. I'm gonna try though. I'm gonna see if I can. Because I do not remember. Don't care about them bouncy boxes. How come Coco can't get her own one-up symbol? How come it's always Crash? It's been a while since I did the Crash 2 stream. We're probably gonna get... Pro you'll probably get a lot of the same commentary. Just because I've forgotten what I have and haven't talked about. the ones that carries me away? Or is that a different level? I think that's a different level. Speaking of random and arbitrary... Ow. These are, these are what I'm saving all my lives for, is to guess at which pterodactyl has to take me away to the secret level. slide jump more. No, no, not that. Remember Land Before Time? Wasn't there, like, uh, wasn't there a, a Triceratops in that who was, like, Sundere? I feel like I always got that vibe from her. Oh, no! No! Oh! That peaked. It, I, 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 I didn't get the thing, the box, because I thought, oh, well, the dinosaur will get it. And he did, but the gem wasn't at the bottom. The gem was up there, and I ran right by it. God damn. Oh, I gotta do that again. That sucks. Crash, Coco, if you have already retrieved the level crystal, then you will find a floating clock when you enter for the second time. This floating clock activates time trial mode. Grab yeah. it, and the clock will start. I can hear we're in Crash's house Race again. For the end to get the best time. But beware, some elements will change. The echoiest room in video games. You know what? No, I'm not going to do this now. I'm, I'm going to come back when I have the red gem, and then I'm going to try to get both at once. That's what I'm going to do. Dumb select button trick. Alright. Level 5. Great. You know what, though? I actually don't mind the jet ski levels. Or, I didn't in the original. Again, I hear it's worse here, but we'll see. The jet ski levels were alright. I have more fun with these than the than the, the motorcycle levels. Because at least I can move in 360 directions. Like, I can go backwards. I can't do that on a motorcycle for some reason. It's a little slip slidery. Slippery, slidery, roundery. I feel like I probably would have gotten those in the original. Would have been a little more precise. I'm, I feel very drifty. Okay, it's more than a little slip slidery aroundery. At least it's not timed. Oh wait, it will be. Uh oh! Okay, we're fine. 
Is there like a reverse or something? No? Uh-oh! We're good. Ah! Yeah, you, it's, it's the biggest... The biggest thing that is missing is air control. Like, I could, I could swerve in the air pretty easily in Crash 3 with the jet ski. Not, not so here. This, this is more Castlevania. Once you're, once you're in the air, you're committed. Which is realistic, but it's a video game about anthropomorphic bandicoots. So, you know, realism. No, turn! Okay. No! I'll just wait. I'll wait here. Always look before you cross the road, kids. Missed both those boxes. Yeah, I'm having to I'm I'm having to turn around and go back a lot more than I did in the original. And dead. And oh she scowled at me. She gave me like the Luigi death stare. Wickersham is streaming the Sonic racing game right now. I played the first two Sonic racing games, and I said something might be instant to check out, just not instant enough for, you know, a day one purchase full price game. So I don't know about that one yet. That might, that one might have to wait. I don't know, which usually means it'll be waiting a while, because I, I don't spend a lot of money on games. I'll put it on my wish list. Oh, it was right in front of a checkpoint, too. There aren't a ton of kart racing games that I thought were more than just okay. They're kind of just the CTR, just most Mario Karts, the Sonic games, all just kind of middle of the board for me. Damn it! Nope, we're good. Although I do appreciate that uh, CTR had a single-player campaign. And same for the the Sonic racing games. Those had a good amount of uh, single-player stuff to do. Besides just doing the Grand Prix over and over again on different speeds. The one Mario Kart that I do think stands above all the others and would call, like, a, a really good kart racer is Mario Kart DS. Because that had snaking, and precision, and rewarded skill. And had single-player stuff. Oh, Coco can't fight him. Ready to see something cool? Oh no, he comes down immediately. He doesn't send the lions right away. There we go. Nope! Much like the Dark Link battle in Zelda 2, this was this was a, a, apparently a well-known thing in the original game. I don't I don't think I did it in Crash 3, but if you just run in this corner, then the lions cannot get you. And uh, it was just a way to cheese in the original game, 
So on this version, the audience throws cheese at you. Still in the game, still here, they just, they throw cheese. Just a fun little nod from the, the makers. Can I, I wonder if I can still cheese. Oh, still just tomatoes. Well done, children. By defeating time, Hello, you children. the gate to the next time travel area. Go back to the center of this time chester and save your progress if you wish. From there, you will see that the gate to the but it auto saves. Aku Aku, but voiced by Isaac Hayes. I want to say, what did we, what did we do the first time playing this game? I think we spent about two hours and got through three warp warp rooms the first stream. Did we kill him? Please be more reasonable with my minions next time. It still blows my mind to hear uh, Cortex and it, him voiced by a dude who I only know as being a kind of kind of mediocre voice in some old anime dubs. No offense to Mr. Lex Lang, he's come a long way. He, do, he does a great Cortex. Mentioned this in Crash 2, the uh... He was uh... Sonosuke and Roni Kenshin. Which was uh... Also known as Samurai X, it was a swordsman anime on Toonami, ran besides Yu Yu Hakusho. And he, he was a character in Dot Hack Sign, are the two main places I know, know Lex Lang from. I wonder if they ever did do a, an HD version. I, I, they, I would I doubt that they would. But if they did an HD version of Wrath of Cortex, would they get the cast back, or would they uh, would they get like sound alikes or something? Because I mentioned playing through that game, it had uh, most of the budget seemed to go into that game's cast. It had Mark Hamill, which isn't too hard to get. He, he likes doing voiceover. He'll he'll take anything, which I I, I appreciate about the guy. It's cool of him to do. Uh, I don't remember the actor's name. Got old Sergeant Emery. Is he still around? I think those were the two big ones. There was maybe one other. One of the other masks had a had a noteworthy uh, name attached to him. Crash does not, Crash and by extension Coco do not have the best air control in platforming games. Simon Belmont they are not, most certainly, but... They're also not Mario or Sonic. Although that said... Someone was saying in the Discord, well Jack is, ju is just Crash but human. And, uh, like Jack and Daxter Jack, 
He felt less agile, less fluid to me, playing Jack 1. Like, he didn't jump as high, he didn't have as much air control as Crash. I think mainly the fact that he didn't jump as high or run as fast, it felt like to me. That was kind of, kind of what turned me off of Jack compared to uh, Crash as a platformer. Hence, I, I liked the Jack games more when they took the, the you know, third-person shooter platformer kind of direction from 2 on. Between them and Ratchet, that kind of became a thing on the PS2. The third-person platform shooter. And even then, it was, it's not like it was required to be a shooter. Like, for the most part, Ratchet and Jack, you could complete melee if you really wanted to. But the guns were there and were, you know, good options to have. They definitely made the game easier. I am so glad to have this on the on the fence sections. That was a good timing for this mask to not have to worry about those uh, those fences. Oh no, it's just faster in general. Also good. These parts really slowed the game down, which I imagine. So this is what I was talking about earlier, if there are, like, mechanics in this game that would make it faster to get through. Maybe this coincides with uh, the level timer being shorter. Like, there's a stricter time limit for Platinum. Like, because you move on these faster, maybe that cancels it out, and it's still actually easier to get the Platinum. By the way, it's nice that you move faster, because that's just is an, an unnecessary slog. Anytime you move slower in a video game, it's just it sucks the fun away. Like a like a fun vampire. I wish I wish they'd done the same thing with water levels. But then again, I guess making it so that you move too fast in a water level. Just the while keeping the levels designed could have made it like too difficult. Uh-oh. I'm gonna go on a wild guess. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that that guy probably doesn't cut Coco's pants off the way he does crashes. We'll have to find out this stream. There was a, uh, mentioned this before, I'm sure I did, but there, I, I saw a guy, an artist, on, it was Joe Boo or some website, that was drawing, not in any lewd way, not, not lewd pictures, but just, uh, all the deaths that Crash has and Coco doesn't, but, but drawn as if Coco had them. Like the pants down death, the burning to a crisp. All the wacky cartoony ones that Crash gets. Here we go. I guess I'll try for the, the crystal and the gem at the same time. And then I'm probably gonna miss some boxes. In which case, I'll come back and get the gem. No! Oh, you fuck! Yep, there it was. Missed one box. This is, uh, like I said, you can't turn around on these. Just gotta take, you just gotta take what you got. Ah, sucker. 
this doesn't feel too bad. This doesn't feel, at least it doesn't feel worse than the original. The original was bad. In fact, I almost want to say those guys were easier. But maybe it's just because that is the first level. Hello, Darian. The first uh, motorcycle level. That di uh, that didn't feel not notably worse. The the jet ski I can feel. The jet ski is a lot worse. Good day. I'm Australian. We're all Australian. We're bandicoots and koalas. But I'm extra Australian. For no reason. You know the reason? It's because he, he, he's two Australian animals put together. That's why he's extra Australian. That's the reason. Alright. They get slow this time. I think I heard something about, like, uh, doing the time trial. You, uh, you can no longer just wait for them to clear the course. Which would be a massive hindrance if that's true. I'll have to I'll have to check that out. It's been, it's enough of a hindrance that you just have to do that. Because when I played Crash 3, it was on an emulator. So what I would do for the time trials was I would sit at the start and uh, turn off the frame limit for about a minute. So it would speed up the game and just let those guys finish the course and clear it. And actually, if you sit long enough, they'll uh, loop around back to the beginning. It is a circular track. But uh, if I can't do that, and if they're still on the track while I'm doing the time trial, that makes it a whole lot harder. The ideal would be if uh, they just disappeared as soon as you got the clock. That, that would be the best design decision. I'm hoping that's the case and I'm misremembering or mishearing. It's a Memorial Day weekend. We are, uh, memorialing OG Crash with Nuji Crash. That, that's the plans for the day. Unlock a new path by earning the purple gem elsewhere. Okay. That cartoony ass cortex. Oh, what are the walls gonna look like? Extra red in here. Dog. Apparently, that's uh, that's like a naughty dog company mascot. They snuck under the, they stuck on the walls in here. Like there was a black dog with a red collar that lived at the at the naughty dog offices. There's baby engine. He's bigger. Pharaoh cortex. Except, okay, th now that's a reverse texture. The end is backwards. Also, he appears to have red dildos on his hat. Okay. You know those opulent pharaohs. They're sex parties. Random Egyptian scientist man. Dingo dial. Wait, who, who's Anubis? Is that nobody? Is that just... It's just a random Anubis lady. Okay. symbol looks like a mix between an Ankh and the Uchiha symbol. Just like a red mirror.
Man! Well, that's, uh... That's a bust. I feel like the bonus areas in Crash 1 were more in the spirit of uh, traditional bonus areas, and that you could only attempt them once per level. And, you know, they're, they're shocked to get more lives and things. In a game that Crash 1 was hard enough that you, you actually, you know, I could see players needing them, more so than 2 and 3. But, you know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just, it's, it's just an, an extra section of the level. A little breaks up the monotony a little bit, having a little side-scrolling area. You can live, monkey. You can, you too, Pharaoh Man. I'm not gonna kill you until Mega Man. But then I, then I gotta kill Pharaoh Man. He's, he's a bad guy there. He's a bad guy here, but... You never see Egyptian royalty from a, uh, from a sympathetic perspective. Which, I mean, obviously, you know, they kept slaves, so that's a big reason why, but... You know what? No, that's not true. We have Yu-Gi-Oh! That, that, that's the Egyptian royalty as, as hero series. That, that's what we got. We got the Pharaoh. Actually, that's even worse, because in, in Yu-Gi-Oh, the servants are kind of the bad guys. Like, Merrick, Merrick is basically a pissed-off royal servant to the Pharaoh. That's, sim that's simplifying, but, you know. Is there, is there a YouTube series called Just the Gist of It? I feel like that'd be a good title. What's Grist? Oh, missed that. Is that like something, something related to like uh, meat or something? Can there, can there be like a, a, a barbecue show called Just the Grist of It? Just the Grizzle of It? We have a show about uh, old video games called Just the Mist of It. Have a, uh, we can have a compilation of ev all the times Jack has rage quit, called Just the Pissed of It. Pacifist? Pacifist of It. And then we'll compile all of these series into one list, and it'll be just the list of it. Good night, folks. Alright. Tomb time. Done. What's next? It always feels redundant, the levels that have uh, crates in the gem paths. Because the gem paths already have gems on them. So you gotta go through the paths to get those. But then you also have to go through the paths to get the regular gem. It's just odd that getting one gem, you would be required to get another gem in the same level, I guess. God damn it.
No, whoops. Goku looks tall. Like, she doesn't really have much of a little sister vibe. Like she's supposed to. I mean, supposed to. I dated. She works just as well as just like the brains between her and Crash. Definitely feels like there's some speed differences between this and the original. Like, I'm having trouble. It, they made it slow. I, I really feel like they made it slower. Because it was too hard. It was too hard for the babies in the, in the first game. But now, as a result, I'm having trouble making some jumps that I wouldn't have otherwise. Maybe. Maybe, maybe I'm full of shit. Maybe it was just exactly the same speed as it was before. I like how the water guys just wait. They just stand there and wait until you're in the vicinity before they start running. Sorry, is that water or is that... What, what's in that? Is that a buckets of chickens? Hello? Oh. Cannonballing right into the pit. Buckets of something. Rip. Is there a rip emote on Twitch? Because if not, I feel like there should be. Could add one. skip the animation. You just gotta add that to your time in time trial. I think we're making better time than we did the first time. We're under an hour and we've gotten two warp rooms done. Alright, bingo. Nope. Only boys can fight bosses. Right. There you've gone and done it. Them crystals are mine. I wonder if these are similar hints to the Japanese releases of Crash. Or if they're, uh... I, like, I wonder how many of them are totally new to the Insane Trilogy. Because that was a difference when uh, Crash was localized for Japan. Was that they added hints in the game. At least in Crash 1, they added a bunch of hints to uh, every Aku Aku crate. I can't hear this music without thinking of Crash Bash. Oh, I didn't get him. Where was this music used in Crash Bash? I don't even remember. I remember it vividly being one of the one of the levels at least. Boy!
So how, how are these magic ice crystals spawning, I wonder? If his only power is to have a flamethrower. He could really be any kind of animal. He just has a flamethrower. That's all he's got going for him. Did, did he invent it? Is, is that his power? He understands pyrotechnics? I mean, power. His, his skill as a mutant critter. I wonder what a Cortex Eggman team up would be like. Because Eggman is all about robots. And you using animals to power the robots, granted, but the, the source of the technology is still, you know, robot tech. As opposed to Cortex, who's all all Dr. Moreau. He's just all about uh, all about genetic engineering and mutations. I feel like it would be a lot like Dr. Jiro and Dr. Mew from Dragon Ball. That ill-fated team-up. It's a good thing there's no, like, uh, there's no, like, debris. I don't have to worry about these ice crystals scattering and piercing crash in the neck or anything. Oh, it there was residual fire. Totally unrelated. If Crash were a boss, like I'm, I'm thinking of uh, why Dingo Dial chose this. I guess I assume he chose this place to confront Crash, the, the Ice Age or whatever it is. If Crash were a boss in any kind of video game, what what would his uh, what would his chosen arena be? Would it just be his house, a beach? Would it be like the Ansem fight, just fighting Crash on a beach? I'm thinking of that of uh, just various heroes, but as as bosses for whatever reason. Oh. I guess Sonic would want to fight in some, like, uh, wide open area. Just so he could, like, dash around all over the place. Mario would probably be at home fighting at, at a Donkey Kong-esque construction site. He'd have the advantage of parkouring all over the place up on these crazy walls and platforms. Uh-oh! Crash's level would be Kami House. Yeah, kinda. He's not really on an island, but I'm, I'm sure Crash would enjoy a, a, de a dessert. I'm sure Crash would enjoy dessert. I like dessert. He would enjoy a, a, a desert island. Either of you know what Man of War Assault Squad is? Uh, no, I, I do not know what that game is. Donkey Kong would be a jungle. Too easy. Swinging around on vines and things. Like, I'm just picturing there's some multiversal bad guy going around and targeting all the heroes. And the heroes know he's coming for them. And they can pick anywhere they want to to confront him to try to stop him. 
Where, where, where would they want to fight him? I'm getting pity masks. I'm doing badly. Spyro would probably want to fight in some kind of, like, magic arena with fairies around for support. Fairies are very helpful with dragons. Except in Pokemon, where they fucking hate dragons, apparently. After it exploded once, the fuel would be gone. Nope. Alright, there we go. Alright, got him. That took longer than I thought it would. it would fight, but once it'd be multi-stage with one fight being Giant Clank. I guess. Giant Clank only happened in very rare specific instances in the Ratchet and Clank games. I feel like Ratchet would fight in one of the, uh, like, one of the arenas from his games. One that, one that he's conquered and is, like, revered as the champion of. So he's got all the, all, all the the sponsor's support. He's got people in the stands throwing him weapons when he runs out of ammo. That, that would be Ratchet's advantage stage. You can see the age marks on his face. That's how high def it is. Why is the inside of his mouth blue? You've got problems. Just stare inside his mouth. That's really disturbing. Blue flesh mouth. Need a gem to 100% this one. So that's been all of the dinosaur levels so far have needed a gem. Like they really want you to uh, come back to these dinosaur ones multiple times. Maybe that's part of the reason I didn't like them very much. Dinosaurs can only walk in tar, of course. It's very common knowledge. stage would be in the fighter. Huh? Did 
the like the fighter jet. What would Jack's boss stage be? Yeah, that's the question. Cause Ratchet, Ratchet got some uh, like some fame, some people support over the course of the game. Jack didn't really. He was always kind of on the outs with every authority everywhere. Maybe a temple full of eco. Yeah, I could see that. Especially after Jack three, he would want that kind of uh, that kind of advantage. I could see that helping him out. The ancient battlefield of the eco warrior. Just uh, carrying lots of ammunition beforehand. So I think the I think the pterodactyl that carries you off is in this level. I just I never know which one it is. It's always a gamble. I think Eco was really a focus of the the fourth game, the the Lost Frontier, right? The Last Frontier. What was it called? Like they kind of backed off the weapons focus for that one. I've not played, uh, I've not played that one. I, pl I played the four that were on PS2. Which, Jack X, I remember being a pretty alright racing game, too. Not one that I remember being incredibly blown out of the water by. There was Jack 1, 2, and 3, and there was Jack X Combat Racing on the PS2. And then there was like uh, Jack and Daxter the Lost Frontier on PS3 or something. That came a while later, and it was not... I don't remember it being especially well received by fans. I had heard it wasn't great, but I have not played it. And I think I heard it went to... It tried to be more along the lines of Jack 1, as opposed to Jack 2 and 3 with the weapons and, and grit and everything. You know, the 90s edge! Damn it. The first game had no guns, no, but they did kind of become a core part of the series after that. Sly Cooper would uh, try to set up an arena full of traps beforehand or something. Get uh, Bentley and Murray involved behind the scenes. Oh, Sly! Isn't this supposed to be a manly duel? He's a murderer, Murray. Don't worry about it. We gotta fuck him over however we can. Mary Sue is coming and he won't be gentle. Well, come back, Darian. You're uh, having a conversation about uh, if, if video game protagonists had uh, were, were bosses. They, they had to set up an arena to fight some uh, approaching enemy. What would they set up as their arena of choice? I, just, I keep walking into that. There, there, there was like a, a lip in front of the lava pits in the original game. It doesn't feel like it's it's quite here in this one. Like I keep just walking into the lava like an asshole. Or jumping in like an asshole. don't need to worry about most of these crates because the the dinosaur will smash them I don't think he'll get the uh, I don't think he'll get the top one though uh, Jack is at work at the moment he had uh, he had an early shift today god damn it 
you doing all relics in this? I will be getting all the relics. I will not be getting all platinums, I'm pretty sure. I do want to get all golds just so that uh, I can get all the gems and 100% uh, the achievements for the trilogy. Because none of the achievements require all platinums. But they, there is one for uh, getting all golds. Okay, I'm not. Don't need to worry about these crates. I just need to not fall in the lava. I wonder how much the uh, nitro fueled will be. I'm just. I'm. I'm so over sixty dollar games. I sounded very Lizzie, Mc, Lizzie McGuire there. Dinosaur, are you coming? Did I, did I lose him? Uh. Buddy? Oh. All right then. Okay. I'm down. All the crates gone? Yeah, all right. Well, this, uh, this makes things easier. Watch me fuck it up anyway. I'm still gonna land in the lava. Oh, I didn't. I, I needed the gem path. I, it was all futile. I could not get all the crates anyway. What would Pac Man's boss stage be? A labyrinth? Just the, the Minotaur from ancient Greece, but it's fucking Pac-Man. He's not trapped in there with you, you're trapped in there with him. Oh great, what's the, what's the red gem? That's right, it's an alternate path in this one, I remember. Pac-Man would be the maze guy, wouldn't he? I need to, uh, I need to go back off stream and see, uh, what achievements I'm missing. Because I checked during, I checked during this stream and the only one that I'm, it says I'm missing is uh, Crash 2, the 99 lives one, so I'll go back and do that. But there are a bunch of hidden ones too, so I need to look up what those are. Now, I'm not a fan of hidden achievements. It kind of, kind of defeats the purpose of achievements when you can't, you know, know what you're doing and, and hunt them down. That's, that's the, kind of the fun, you know? I remember these things. I would like to, uh, I would like to have all the achievements by the time I get the, uh, the last gold relic. So that'll be, like, the, the, the end of the trilogy of, uh, the perfect achievements. Oh, oh, okay, that, that hit him. We're fine. any uh, invisible wall problems yet, but then I'm not doing the time trials yet. 
There are some features in this version I've mentioned, such as, like, uh, you uh, move faster on the grates that you hang from, that will make this easier for time trials. Or it'll make it faster, at least. I don't know if the times were probably made shorter on those levels because of the grates mechanic. Damn it. Well, uh, can I get those now? They're gonna be, uh... Whoop. What would Minecraft Steve have as a boss stage? Uh... A well-fortified Minecraft house with lots of redstone traps. I was talking in, uh... I started a thread on the Smash boards of, uh what games or series might be better represented in Smash as stages rather than characters. Because I feel like there are a couple that could uh, could qualify there. Someone mentioned the idea of a Minecraft stage instead of a, uh, instead of, a, like, a playable Steve character. Which I could see. I'd be down for that. Uh, Tetris is long overdue, I think. Thing. I mean, there's already Tetris music in Smash, so they have the rights. It's uh, almost a crime that there's not a Tetris stage in Smash. Or an assist trophy, even. There's not, not, not an assist trophy that drops, you know, Tetris blocks. You know, the best-selling game of all time. Meh. Just give it a couple of, sound, a couple of songs in the soundtrack. That's good enough. What else? Uh, I want to see Tetris blocks as characters. See, that's what I would have done if I were in Sakurai's position and I wanted a joke character that no one would ever see coming. I, I wouldn't have done Piranha Plant. Which he obviously did that just as a curve. But these seem new. I don't remember these being so uh, tight. He obviously just wanted a curveball character to catch people off guard. But, uh, instead of just doing a random enemy, I would have done a Tetramino. It would be a stupid, ludicrous, nonsense character that would just catch everyone way by surprise. But it would still be, like, a hugely important piece of video game history. It would cover all bases. Oh, man. Wait, wait, no! It was the th it was the Nitro thing right there. Am I still going the right way? Yeah, that's the right way. <sighs> yeah, he did do plant as a fuck you. I, I'm just saying my fuck you would have been uh, Tetramino. Uh, I've said this before. For lack of any real earthbound villain representation, I mean, Porky is definitely an option. He's kind of the mo the main recurring villain. Well, him and Gygus both have uh, been in multiple Mother games and would both be options. But uh, while Porky could conceivably be a playable character, I would love a Gygus stage. Just the, the fucked up fetus background. Like uh, maybe like a randomly generated platform or some, some weird shape or something. I feel like there's potential there. It's the problem being that it would be traumatic looking in a ch in a game that children buy. I mean, th that was a problem for Earthbound, but that's probably the limiting factor. And uh, a third one I thought of that I'd like to see is uh, Worms. 
a playable worm is conceivable, but would be a very weird choice for a Smash character. A playable worm would be weird, but uh, I could definitely see a stage. A, ran a stage that was randomly generated, within reason, in the same way that, uh, you know, worm stages are randomly generated. And then if hazards are on, you have the little guys, you know, crawling around and uh, firing explosives around. Better yet, if the stage is actually destroyed by the explosions as it goes on and uh, regenerates after a period of time. I'd love that. It's a lot to ask for. But uh, as the rep for a series, it would be very cool. To see Doom Guy as a rare assist trophy, ultra violent custom enemy, or or you, you could just be playable. That, that's an option. That he's one of people's top predictions. A lot of people are actually expecting Doom Guy to show up. We're gonna, at li almost certainly, we're gonna get at least one DLC character reveal at uh, E3. There's a Pokemon Direct before that. But uh, I'm expecting that we will get, uh, I'm expecting two characters revealed at E3 for Smash. One of them that will drop immediately, or very shortly after E3, and another one that we'll just get a trailer for. But uh, it'll announce their identity. Why, why, why do you think Doom Guy in Smash is uh, unlikely at the, at this point? After we've gotten you know Bayonetta and Cloud, rares on board. Wait, no, that's not rare. Doom Guy's not rare. Now, he's entirely plausible. We don't we don't have a, an FPS character yet either, and he's kind of the the the, the granddaddy of the genre. Is Doom. Uh... Huh? What? Am I brain farting? M-rated ultraviolence, but... Bayonetta's in the game. As is Solid Snake. Right through the cracks. I'm predicting Crash. With his, uh, with his resurgence in popularity, I think Crash is... It feels to me like a shoe win for Smash. The gaming icon would be like a, a big major Sony guy, which Smash doesn't... Well, it kind of has. It has a snake. And he has, uh, more importantly, he's a, he's one of, if not the only Western origin character who is massively popular in Japan. 
unlike Spyro, that hurts Spyro's chances, because apparently there actually are not any, uh, there are no characters in Smash Brothers, no playable characters from series of Western Origin. There are some characters of Western Origin being, uh, K. Rule and Diddy Kong were made by Rare, a British company, and Dark Samus was, uh, American in origin. But no Western franchises are, uh, are in Smash. Might as well to see, expect to see Master Chief 2. I'm not ruling him out. Apparently the, uh, the Halo Microsoft CEO, someone, maybe it was Bungie specifically for Halo. Uh, supposedly Master Chief was deconfirmed because the, uh, the owner of Halo, president of the company or something, said that they were not interested in Master Chief being in Smash. Banjo, a lot of people are, uh, expecting as a possible Microsoft rep, rep. The only real point against him being that, uh, he doesn't really have, as far as we're aware, he doesn't have any new games coming out, so he can't... He's not a seller, which might, which would, you know, hinder Microsoft from giving the okay. Well, Crash is multi-platform now, but it was, like, the face of Sony for the first several games. He was kind of the... He, was, he and Spyro were the Sony mascots, more or less. I'm gonna go back back into that, and I need the, uh... I need the death platform for the purple gem. And colored gems are very important. I think Banjo and Doom Guy are both very feasible for Smash right now. Master Chief a lot less likely with that uh, with that deconfirmation, but uh, would be cool. They've got Konami on board, they've got Atlas on board, like nothing's, pretty much nothing's impossible now. I mean, I say that, I mean, we're not, not gonna get Goku or anything, which I'm glad for. I, I don't want Goku in Smash. As a fan of Dragon Ball, I don't want Goku in Smash because he would be so watered down and shitty compared to his Z power that it wouldn't be Goku anymore, and it would just be a joke. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I have read your many messages that you would like Doomguy in Mortal Kombat. I think you're over-exaggerating how violent Doom is. It's a game that you shoot things. That's pretty much it. That's the violence. We're not ta we're not talking about Mad World here. We're not we're not Doom is not a game that uh, rewards you style points based on how brutally and painfully you kill your opponents. That Max from Mad World is not coming to Smash. Doom guy is possible. There there's a difference there. I I really do not see how Doom is more violent than uh, any other FPS. There's just like some fleshy demons. That that's it. Back to uh, everyone's favorite levels, the motorbikes. I mean, I guess it depends on how he's portrayed. There are the more recent Doom games where he's like a, a legendary demon slayer. Like, apparently Doom Slayer, Doom Guy has a reputation 
among the humans living in Doom World. Come on, Crash! Damn it. Letting go of the brake was not enough. Or letting go of the accelerator. We need to apply the brake on some of these sharp turns. Damn it! Well, okay. Still get the gem. It's probably better that I don't try to do both at once anyway. Can't wait to miss a box and fuck the gem up, too. Get out of the way! Okay, cool, I got them all. I would, I would be pissed if I went under the gem. Like, it looked like I almost did. Might as well expect Postal Dude. Huh? Is Cloud Water down? I, I don't know. I, I haven't played Final Fantasy VII. I mean, every Square game ultimately ends with the character... With the, the, the... At least the bad guys being like Eldritch God World Slayer Eater things, right? I guess by extension, Cloud must be strong enough to beat one of them, so... It's always hard to measure with JRPGs, because they always get so ludicrous. Like, at least Dragon Ball has numbers to apply to its power levels. We all know Sonic's as strong as Goku. Only in Sonic X, really. I wish he was uh, kind of more portrayed that way more in the games, but he's, he's not. Why do I keep getting that checkpoint? I, it actually hinders me when I'm going for the death route. God dang it, Bobby! Bullshit numbers that have lost their meaning. I guess. I mean, it's still it's better than what happened to JRPGs, anyway. Anyway. Uh, try this again. I think I have to go to a different level in order to reset the checkpoint. Like, I gotta stop getting that checkpoint crate if I'm going for the death route. I think I have to hit it just at the green light to get the initial boost. Yeah, this doesn't this doesn't feel worse than the than the original. If people are saying the motorcycle is worse in this version, I wonder if they're remembering the original being better because it really isn't. The original was hot garbage on the motorcycle levels. And this feels pretty comparable. It feels almost exactly the same. It feels exactly the same. I can definitely see the complaints with the uh, the jet ski levels. But this, at the very least, is no shittier than it originally was. Oh! I was gonna call him a loser, but I was in fact the loser. I could
couldn't I couldn't thread the needle with the police car. Yeah, this one's uh, this one's a little bit of a lost cause. See, in this case, it would be nice. Oh, oh no, not almost. Completely one-sided. Eh. I think there's a far, far bigger difference between Goku and anyone in Smash as compared to Samus versus Peach. Like, e even very beginning of Dragon Ball Z, the very, very, very beginning, earliest parts. We're already on a scale at which the characters can destroy planets. That's, it's kind of, it's kind of a far cry from anybody in Smash, Cloud included. I mean, unless Cloud's ultimate meteor is planet destroying, I don't think it's quite that powerful, but, uh... I mean, it's not like he even uses that in Smash. So I guess Goku could use literally none of his attacks if he got into Smash. Damn it! Ah! I should have tried to thread the needle. Nope, missed that. It's just these two, though, so if I, if I can get around them... Nope! Just slipped right in. from late Dragon Ball, but no one wants to see that. The people who want Goku and Smash want Kamehameha's and Spirit Bombs. And nowadays they probably want Super Saiyan Blue. That could be his ultimate. It would be totally balanced in the context of Smash Brothers for Super Saiyan Blue to attack Mario. That's totally okay and doesn't ruin the character. It's great. It's Goku. He can do no wrong. And then I hear arguments from people who are just so blindly sworn to their fan characters. Like, I, I heard someone arguing that uh, they don't want uh, Sans or Frisk in Smash, but they want Undine from Undertale. Which is like a world in which Luigi gets into a game, but not Mario. That's, that's not how this works. Can I restart? No? Really? They, they updated the game and they did not add a restart race button. I don't want Goku in Smash. He's lame. Put Krillin in. Granted, I, I I am one of those guys who would say that, but ironically... I, I like Krillin. He's a cool character. But if, if, hypothetically, in a world where a Dragon Ball character got into Smash, it would obviously be Goku. There's no, no chance otherwise. I don't want Crash in the game. Can we put Tiny Tiger instead? No one cares about Spyro. Put Sparks in the game. I want to play as Sparks. I 
made a I made a post in a character request thread on the Smashboards that was something all along the lines of uh, I think Yugi Moto's grandpa's professor friend's anime only cat should be in Smash Brothers. I think that would be a good Konami representation. Like if you agree. It's, it's stupid, the, some of the characters people ask for, unironically. And legitimately think they have any chance. If there was one word I would use to describe the Smash fanbase, that word is denial. Come on, we, we can do this. We can beat Carman! Damn you, Carman! You're not even that good a singer! I just phased through the ground. Ow! I think they're still on tracks, too. They just have predetermined uh, routes. They're not dynamic dynamic or AI controlled in any way. Okay, threaded the needle. This guy's gonna hit me. Oh no, I throw oh, right under him. That was like an evil Knievel trick. Come on. Right! Ah, he interrupted my boost. He's gonna block this one too, you asshole! And into the pit. That's it. Don't put Sonic in the game. I want to play as Big the Cat, said the Sega CEO. Yeah, third. It's it's like playing Mario Kart. Just trying to get first place in a sea of bullshit. I would be, I would be, I'm honestly a little surprised Tingle is not in Smash Brothers. Considering that he has had two of his very own games. I would be totally down for Tingle and Smash, but, uh, either a big chunk of Americans still don't like him, or Japan thinks a lot of Americans don't like him. Which is weird alone that Japan would care about America's opinions, because a lot of the times they don't seem to. I, I, I retweeted this. Uh, Derek Yu, the dev of uh, Spelunky, Spelunky 2, made a tweet about... Uh, there was uh, a prototype for, I think, an NES, a Famicom game. A rare prototype of a Famicom game that uh, a Japanese collector bought for like $14,000, the equivalent in US dollars. And uh, he tweeted about it, something along the lines of, uh, don't worry Japanese people, I'm going, to, I'm going to make sure this stays in my hands forever and doesn't get to any greedy Westerners who would sell it for profit. Which means it's going to sit in his collection and rot and not be, you know, not have the ROM backed up or saved in any way and be lost to the lost to history forever is what's going to happen which is really de it's depressing and it's a reminder of Japan's ongoing you know xenophobia I would call it more it, it's that that's one example of it but there's the practices with you know we as abridgers have a lot of trouble getting our stuff on YouTube because uh Japanese copyright owners have no interest in letting anyone outside of Japan, you know, do anything with uh, their properties. Particularly, they, they, they ha can have problems with Japanese people doing it, but especially outside people. And there's also kind of, there's the history of uh, the PlayStation... You know, Sony got pissed that uh, Nintendo worked with outside, with non-Japanese company Philips. 
and uh, ended their relationship with, the, with Nintendo on that basis because they did business with a non-Japanese company. And there's a difference in, uh, it's a difference in philosophy to some degree with, uh, like the copyright stuff, but it's, like, there are, there are arguments to be made, and it's just very, it's very close-minded, a lot of the, a lot of the, the, the Japanese arguments against, for, for and against various things. Regarding copyright, specifically. And that uh, that that game prototype being locked away was it, it just hurt to hear that that was a happening and b the argument that this Japanese collector really felt like he was doing the right thing by hoarding it to himself and keeping it away from anyone else. It's it's depressing. That's all. But hey, I'm in first. Can I hold on to it? Hey. Well, yeah, there are a lot of there are a lot of Japanese games exclusive to Japan. That's uh I don't know if that's so much related to uh that kind of Eastern Western philosophy, or uh, just Japan makes a lot of games. Just a, a conceived lack of interest in the West, especially for Bleach. Bleach's popularity kind of came and went. During a cutscene, grab my tea, kick my computer, do things like that. Fun break things. Also, welcome, Visht, 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 V, and uh, Chen Mango. Last I heard, Nitro Field comes out on the 21st. That is what I heard as well. But uh, it is not announced for Steam thus far, according to the Wikipedia article. It is just on the three consoles. The Bone, PS4, and, uh, Switch. Which, I am playing this on Steam. I like to get the Steam version, because, uh, achievements, which Switch doesn't have. No, I, I almost hit it again. I'm going for the death route here. But, uh, if it just... If I know that it's not coming out on Steam... I get, I'm considering the Switch version, just because the mobile is nice. I know that the PS4 apparently comes with uh, some extra content, namely uh, like a low poly mode. You can set, uh, I think, Crash Coco and Cortex to their PS1 graphics, which I'm not, it's not something I really feel the need for anyway, so. Have you played the original Crash 3? I have streamed all of the Crash games, the originals, up through uh, Wrath of Cortex. And then I, uh, after that, those are on YouTube. After that, I came back to uh, the Insane Trilogy. And I've already played through Crash 1 and 2 with all Platinum Relics. Crash 2 I did in one sitting. That was an 11 hour stream, I think. I don't think I'm doing all Platinums here. I did it in the original Crash 3 off-stream eventually, and it took a very long time. The problem for me being that there are so many non-platforming levels in Crash 3. And that that's what makes the Platinums annoying, particularly the water levels. Not a fan of the Crash 3 water levels. They're pretty terrible to try to get... Uh, Try to get Platinums on.
Nope. Someone, uh, when talking about Smash, someone mentioned that, uh, they thought if Crash got in, they would, like, Coco would be an Echo. I don't think that would that would be the case. Like, we have male-female variants in Smash, but all of them are uh, Avatar characters. We don't have uh, any any current cases of two different characters being included, just, you know, for male-female male variety, that are not, you know, optional gender avatars. Speaking of Zelda characters, I would I'd, I would like Tingle, of course. Uh, Skull Kid is an option because apparently I didn't realize he's actually been in uh, three Zelda games, not counting Hyrule Warriors. Between uh, Ocarina, uh, Majora's Mask, and uh, Twilight Princess, apparently the same Skull Kid is implied to appear. And here's what here's one character that I I will say I guess I can call myself a supporter of even though realistically I I recognize it's just not going to happen. I would actually think it'd be cool to have Linkle in Smash. Just because she's got that uh, that dual crossbows thing going on. And it wouldn't really be a dedicated archer character. I mean it would be. It would be a dedicated crossbow user. Not quite the same as, like, a Decidueye's bow and arrow thing it would have going on, but... It'd be cool. It'd make for a cool character, the dual crossbows. I'd like that. What a fun character with a just stupid name, Linkle. Kinda, kinda, kinda hurt her in the, in the end. And also that she's, like, strictly non-canon because she's, you know, Hyrule Warriors and not... I guess that makes her not Nintendo-owned. Because she's not a Nintendo original character. Ice Climbers? What about Ice Climbers? Oh, the, the, the male and female, it, they're... Kind of two versions of the same character, and also you plays them together, so it's not like you have an option between them. Actually, you do. You change the colors, and it changes who the lead is. But it's just... It's still two, just two of the same character. Like, did they even have names before Smash Brothers? Was, was there an Ice Climbers manual that listed them as Nana and Popo? Popo! Uh, should I have done that? I Maybe I shouldn't have... No, I needed to do that. That's okay. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, oh. I, I was supposed to be fast. Shit. They won't drop down. Alright. But they have, like, defined genders. Gonna be quick this time. I, I sometimes get a double jump, but I'm not sure where it comes from. Wait, oh. Uh, have I had this? When did I get this? I, I wasn't paying attention to my powers. No, I'm not supposed to be quick. I'm supposed to. Ah, oh, damn it. I was supposed to double jump over that. I completely was not paying attention and missed that I got the double jump ability. I guess that was from, uh, Warp Room 2? Was that always that early? 
What were the powers? There was the, the big belly flop. There was the double jump. What's Warp Room 3? I thought 3 was the double jump. Sneak wasn't in this game. That was in Wrath of Cortex. Double jump was always Dingo Dial. So what what do you get from Entropy? I remember the bazooka is from uh, Engine. I just I don't remember. Oh, it's the the spin, the the helicopter spin. That was it. Alright, so that's three, bazookas four, speed shoes are five. I feel like the main point against Crash for Smash is that he's a very linear linear character who can't do a lot of like uh he doesn't really have any powers or anything. He's just good at running and jumping and so ow. And Sakurai tends to lean towards I'm mean, Sakurai, the devs. So uh jump on him not really working like it did in the original game. Am I timing it wrong, maybe? Okay, I guess I just can't. Whatever. They tend to lean to characters with, uh, like, gimmicks in Smash. With, like, unique movesets that they don't have anywhere else in the game. Oh, there I go. Took long enough. talking about Laura Croft. I guess no one, uh, no one cares about or expects her in Smash. Still bothered that the Wii Fit trainer's a character. Eh, I, I, she was kind of the joke character of Smash 4. She was the, the curveball inclusion. But I mean, at least she has her own series. As far as joke characters go, it was like her or Cooking Mama. I hear the new Tomb Raiders are less good. They're still making them. I haven't I haven't caught up with the series. Is it like uh, like a Metroid Other M situation where they like? Uh... Well, it's like the newer Tomb Raiders are like backstories, right? So she's like a teenager, and she's less competent. Which is kind of against the point of the games. I'm assuming that's the case. People's problem with Other M was uh, that they took, you know, badass female character Samus and... Uh, just made her into kind of a, a, a whiny, romantic teenager that had to get, you know, her commander's permission to do anything. From what I hear, I, 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 don't, I don't really play the Metroid games. He sure tires out easy. This blue mouth old man. Is that what they were supposed to be? He's throwing clocks at me? It was just energy blasts in the original. Which is a little less silly than literally throwing magic clocks at me. Well, you, ca you can't really understand that it's time magic. What do we do about that? Oh, we'll just make them clocks.
That is fair. I've not uh, I've not done time magic, so I, I have no idea how tiring it is. Yeah. Rewind his inputs. You know, it'd be a crazy character for Smash is Beautiful Joe. We haven't heard from him in a while. He's in Marvel vs. Capcom. Although he didn't really, didn't really do any of his his like crazy video effect stuff in that game. He was just kind of a little fast dude. He was tiny, fast Captain Falcon. For over two hours. I guess that explains why I got three warp rooms done last time. It uh, gets harder in warp room three. Is there anything I want to go over here for? Nitro crates. Those aren't crate crates. Uh, just lives. Hmm. That doesn't seem worth it. I, I vaguely remembered that, but I wanted to be sure there weren't crates over there. Nope! Oh! I'm fine. It's okay, just going through the level backwards. Not a problem. Just backwards things. Grab some of these. A little of that. Test the waters, check the pits, and we're good. Go down, please. Getting game ready driver? Oh, the G Force? Not now, G Force. No masks. Who needs fruit? Go ahead and let those blow up. I did get the four boxes behind the start. I've been here. I forgot about the bitter hatred. Oh, okay. You want to route this warp room properly. Oh, is there a uh, there a blue gem necessary in one of these levels? Because I can uh, I can do that. I would say this is the I would say this is the Crash trilogy game I know the least of the first three. I don't think I owned this one as a kid for a while. I think I got it later in life as a teenager or something. Teen, I was probably a teenager when... Oh, I had to get the blue gem before now. Well, too late for that. Hopefully there are no boxes on that gem route. Although knowing this game, there probably are. Damn it! I thought, oh, he hasn't dropped any in a while. Oh, I got a checkpoint at least. I'm not too far back. Did you, was she spinning diagonally there? Let me do that again. Kinda. Yes, yeah, she is. She's like a top. Oh, is that a glitch? That's cool. Yep, 
Yeah! Top! not a glitch, it's just her being a dreidel. Okay. Oh, send him down a pit. So why do the villains dress their henchmen period appropriate? I don't know, I guess they're not just having fun with it. They gotta like, uh, I guess Cortex like took over as Pharaoh. He's gotta keep the, he's gotta keep the illusion so that the, the slaves don't get suspicious that he's from the future. Okay, good. I got. I did not need the. Uh, I did not need the blue gem for the crates. I can. I can just go back and get that gem later. This game is. This game is when the series got started getting like really silly, very cartoonish. It had that flavor to it before, but it wasn't until this game that you know Cortex became a complete joke. Alright, vehicle level. Hello, Coco. You don't get the uh, shoot down the blimps message in the original. You just kind of just have to figure out that that's what you're supposed to do. Which, you know, logically shouldn't be that hard, given that you're in a plane with a gun and there are blimps around and not much else. Especially since the blimps have Cortex's face on them. It, it seems like a pretty logical deduction. Okay, hold on. There we go. It was messing with me. It's, uh, it's reversed from the original. It's not flight... It wasn't flight controls. Fuck off. Planes, please. What are all these boxes I'm still missing? Hello? Oh, it's way out there. Alright, where's the other one? This render distance, though. No, go away. Fuck off. Planes. You're a shitty movie with Dane Cook, and that's all you'll ever be. It's a good thing this gun never overheats. Oh, I got them all. Okay. I, I miscounted. I, I am just blind.
Do you enjoy mass battles? Uh, not really, no. Is this before or after the Revenge of Cortex? You, you mean Cortex Strikes Back, Crash 2? Or you mean Wrath of Cortex, Crash 6? Hello, Igor. Oh, he looks extra square. I guess Cortex doesn't have dental. Wrath. Uh, this was made after Wrath of Cortex, but the game originally, Crash 3, was before Wrath of Cortex. Do a three. I always do this just habitually in case there are boxes behind you, but there never are on these levels. Like, I know that about all these levels. I just do it anyway, because I'm Thoru. Oh, them jet skis. Mmm. That drift. Got him. Stop and turn. Stop and turn. Lots of stopping, lots of turning. Miss anything this way? Nope, nothing. Alright, Mr. Anchorman. Bomb. I've said this before, you probably heard it from other people. The jet ski controls are way more slippery in this than in the original. You have way less air control. Is kind of a big problem. That's gonna that's gonna really affect some of the uh, box layouts unless they change them. There were some that like curved in the air in the game. Well, I'm gonna have to go back and get that. how you get those three lives floating out there. There's a way to, like, ramp out of bounds on the waves or something. Who, uh, who made Jet Moto 2, Charlie? Charlie. Charles. Dead stop, turn around. I, I, I'm being quiet because I gotta focus for these BS jet skis. Stop in front of the cannon. That's a good place to stop and get a crate. Oh, they fire uh, both directions at once now. 
In the, in the original, only one direction would fire at a time. Like whichever side of the boat that you were on. Oh, so that's just, that's a side path. No boat, no police, no bomb. No Ron Burgundy. This is the speed I like to go on a jet ski. I don't know about you guys. We... Please, Mama, do not allow the jet ski to go too fast. I do not want the jet ski to go fast. I am scared if it goes fast. I want the jet ski to be nice and slow. Oh, and there's sharks. I do not want to be able to outrun the sharks. I want to go on my slow jet ski and play with the sharks. I did get the, yeah, I got the crystal. Coco's jet ski kind of looks like a jack hover bike. I can see it. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to finish the levels today and then come back for relics next time. That'd be nice. These were annoying in time trials. I remember that. Every time I spin a crate and uh, dynamite lands and it doesn't explode, it feels like pulling a, pulling a tablecloth off without anything falling off the table. Boy, I can't wait to get the run ability and then do the time trials where I have to hold the shoulder button and hurt my hand the entire game from then on. That's a fun feature. Can I have an auto run instead so I do not have to hurt my hands? No? I'll, okay. I'll just hold an extra button down at all times. Just rush to the end. You can't get the gems yet. Oh, neither of them? Is there a... Uh, is there a blue gem path or something? Twenty relics to get to an ice isolated room. What? You need relics for this level? That wasn't in the original. Oh, you mean uh, like a different start to the level? It's one of those. Take Chat's word for it and ignore the bonus stage. Now the ten, the yellow gem, the ten relics one, that was a totally separate area of the level, though, wasn't it? 
Like, were there also gems on that portion? Like, just because I can't... I can't get the, the boxes gem on this one? Alright. There probably were not that many crates in the bonus, so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take per this person's word for it. Why is Coco in Haven City? It's too neon to be Haven City. It's too bright and colorful. Here we go. Tomb Waiter. Get it? Someone, uh... Someone posting Sonic art in the Discord. Can't see who that is. Looks like Helen from Sonic X. Damn it, was not fast enough. Get the up-down part with the decorative canals. Yeah. I don't remember much of uh, Jack 2's, like, uh, landscapes, to be honest. I just remember, uh, like, kind of steampunkish, cyberpunkish city and lots of, uh, lots of wasteland. Shout-outs to spooky ass scarabs. Are, are they spooky? Oh no! No! God damn it! I mean, they're just they're just kind of scarabs. They're just little little friendly bug fellas. I spent hours running around in the city, as did I. I almost 100 percent of Jack too. I never quite got it. I think the only things I was still missing were the the hoverboard challenges. Those were a pain. I could never get those quite down. Like the score challenges and such. I'll just hang out down here, mummy. Oh, I guess I hadn't died. Cool. Can you imagine if they took Crash in the same direction they took Jax, or Jack? That would be weird. Crash in a futuristic city, suddenly he talks and he's wielding weapons. I guess that would have been Ratchet and Clank. Just a sillier version of Ratchet and Clank.
I mean, Crash has shown a talent for uh, being able to instantly operate any machinery he finds. Got my gem! Did I walk past the crystal? I haven't reached that yet, right? Okay, good, there it is. Be careful I don't spin that away. The water's kind of harder to see what level it's at in this version. It's a lot murkier, a lot more translucent. Nice to be able to uh, go slow on this, as opposed to the uh, time trials, which I remember pretty vividly for these levels. Can't say it's particularly fun to stop and wait all the time, but what do you do? That's game design. Alright. Got him. Was he called Doctor in the original? Oh my. Apparently there's a point in a later game, like uh, Tag Team Racing or something, where Coco refers to Engine as cute? Figure that out. hit the stomach thing yet? Or not yet. I don't think this had a uh, cursor in the original. Maybe it did. But it's really just all over the place. Like, it's not really hitting where the cursor goes. Also, the things fired from the stomach don't seem to be the, like, hard-to-destroy bombs that they originally were. They seem to be just regular missiles, like what the shoulders fire. Still going for it with his one shoulder. Press Y to skip transformation sequence. And the tiger. Why is the tiger there? Why is it phallic? Oh, this is the part with the uh, little. the super bomb. Am I hitting it? I, okay, I was hitting it.
Honestly, I feel like the uh, the Crash 2 version was harder. Which is saying something, because Crash 2 is not known for hard bosses. I mean, uh, Crash games in general aren't known for hard bosses. In fact, they're kind of known for piss-easy bosses. I kind of missed the loud-ass clanking. Yeah, it was, it was definitely a satisfying sound. The bullets on metal. It's funny how history repeats itself. Yet again, engine has failed to defeat you. No! Oh, this we must destroy you! Oh, my aching head. I'm not feeling myself these days. So the end is in sight. The echoiest echo chamber ever. Oh my god, the echo of 250% for this game. Alright, final room, here we go. Just, uh, just in case. Add to the, uh, autosave there. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. I guess I can't, uh, I can't gun out here. Or can I? Dun 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 I think it's L2 is the gun, right? Or is it L1? There it is. Coco's got a gun. Wait, wait, hold on. I can't, uh, there it goes. I was gonna say, I can't destroy them with it anymore? Cause I, I, I mean, that'd be fair. It was kinda, it's kind of a stupid, broken thing to have in, in a platforming game. But, no, you can still, uh, you can still hit them with it. And then, shine your ass. There we go. Nice big weak spot. If you get the green gem from... I, I really wish you would tell me these things earlier. I remember missing something in this level. I was missing a, uh, an exclamation crate, an activator, somewhere in the level, and I didn't know where it was. I don't remember what I, uh, I don't remember what I found out it was. Ah, I'm in the first area, I'll back out. What's this one? Do we need a, a death platform? Yeah, it's death route. All right. I'm really curious what Coco's death animation of those guys is. But I need to not die to them for the death route, and I just went right into them. Okay. Sorry, it was inappropriate for Coco's pants to come off, so instead she just fucking dies. Death before nudity. What's your favorite level type in this game? 
Uh, I guess these ones? I'm not super crazy about any of the... I mean, my favorite one levels are the platforming ones, but uh, I'm not super crazy about any of the level settings in this game. It's definitely not the dinosaur one. So it's between this and the medieval, and I, I, I think I would lean more towards the these ones. Then again, these ones have the hanging, uh, hanging areas. Just do this, I guess, to uh, clear up the checkpoint. There were some uh, gimmick levels that I liked in Wrath of Cortex, like the. Namely, the ball levels. I enjoyed those. But, uh, they're, they're fewer in this one. It's mostly just platformers and vehicle levels. You could tell they wanted to make a vehicle game. You could tell this was the build-up to CTR. into becoming a pilot. This is good practice. Did it take damage from me hitting it? I did. I, again, missed the fact that the gem appeared in front of me. Maybe the animation is less, uh, Less obvious in this one than the original. Or maybe I'm just an idiot and I'm gonna look back on the footage and see how say how did I miss that. I think technically that's not actually a barrel roll, it's like a corkscrew or some other name of maneuver. Press Z or R twice. Oh. Z. Huh? Oh, like in Star Fox 64? Is that the reference? I just know the memes. I've never played the game. Alright, let's try this again. Problem, I should. I shoot the problem and it die. Why did I just walk off? I did. It was close enough, but then it wasn't close enough. I can't, like, uh. There's no way I can undo having gotten that checkpoint. Like, I can't leave the level and say start from beginning or anything. So I guess I'm just I'll just go through it and try to get the try to get the regular gem and then I'll have to come back for the death route. Try 
tried to pull out my gun. Was it? Okay, so if I just land on something, I can also do the dreidel? This is weird. Okay, so that's where it was. Why couldn't I- I couldn't pull out my gun? Can I not do it on the carpets? Right in the butt. I'm, uh, still waiting for the Spyro Trilogy to come out on, uh, Steam. That will be my, uh, buying point for that game. Or Switch. It's not even on Switch, I don't think. I'm expecting... Those announcements could happen at E3. But, uh, if it's a year exclusive, then I think, uh... I think it won't be until, like, uh, November. October or November. The Spyro Reignited came out. So if it's a year exclusive, it will be... Not until then that it's out on uh, Switch or Steam. I think Crash was a year exclusive. As was Spelunky, which I'm really hoping Spelunky 2 is not. I mean, I guess better a timed exclusive than a totally exclusive, but... As a Steam player, I would prefer it was not either. one point in the game that they require you to use the gun. Wait, did I... Were there nitros back here that I didn't get? Oh. I thought of the other ones because those were in my way. These ones I just kind of jumped over. You, come on out again. Idiot. Oh, there's a thing. Can I... Oh, no, she's got a face forward. Alright. Got the regular gem. Just gotta do the death route. Would've been nice to do them at the same time, but... Oh, well... Remember not to get the checkpoint, as I am prone to doing by habit. I'm getting achievements. I can't quite see what they are, but... Hello? There we go. A special gem lies at the end of the death route. Alright, here we go. Just the safest way to do it. Just shoot. Shoot everything till it dies. Not gonna get the checkpoint. God, right in the crack. As long as I start from the beginning of the level, I'm good for the death platform. Ow. 
Hey, you. Asshole. Did the window get boarded up as soon as I shot them? Him? Her? It? It's supposed to be like a ninja? In the original game, I always perceived them as being just like angry Arab housewives, is what they always looked like to me. Which, I mean, you know, Arab, Arab housewives have a right to be angry. Bongos, go! It's very non flammable wood, considering that they're throwing Molotovs at it and it's just kind of hanging out. Yoshi Bongos away. I guess Yoshi's Arena would be a, uh, a Shy Guy habitat. Somewhere with lots of things to eat. Shy Guy's Melon Grove would be Yoshi's Boss Arena. I don't remember if Chen was around for that discussion earlier or not. Crash always had a very modest double jump. I, I mean, I guess. It's it's not as modest as, like, Jack, or Ratchet, even, but, uh... I mean, it's not like a Smash Brothers double jump, certainly. Okay, I did not spin it away. I was worried about that. I wonder if in the original game I would have spun it away. Just doing your little dance. I'll let you finish, Coco. Yeah. Asshole. Damn it. Two of five levels done. Back to tomorrow. We have to go back. Back to tomorrow. Where we're going, we don't need doors. Featuring Doc Pink and Martin McCool. Back to tomorrow. We 
We need to get SpongeBob back. Oh, okay. I don't know where that came from, but I'm down. Get me some classic SpongeBob back. I hear it's not so great in the last last few seasons. I hear it's gotten some Simpson syndrome. Oops. Okay, good. Thought I destroyed the bouncy crate. That guy, up there. I don't, I, that's the guy I kept missing. How do I get him? I remember thinking it was something really mean, like getting to the end of the, the 2D part of the level. But it wasn't anything like that. It was on this part of the level. And I just wasn't getting it. God damn it. I think maybe it was at the very start there was a crate off to the side. Is that it? Backtracking. You need to go on the green gem path? Oh, okay. Sharpshooter. So I'll leave those guys there because I'm I guess I'm going to be coming back here. Remember there was a period of uh, a lot of gross-out shock humor in Spongebob that uh, I'd, I had some trouble watching. I, n I never watched the, the Splinter episode after the first time. And the, uh, the couch moving scene. Anytime those came on, I was like, well, let's change the channel. I need something under there before I do anything. Where's the something? It's not up there. Is it further ahead? There's the bonus. Hey. I think maybe the bonus is what I missed last time. In addition to that, uh, that box.
Imagine if Sonic had a gun. Shadow the Hedgehog. No, like a, a gun like this, where he had to just stop and shoot at something. Just dead stop. That that would be that would be very jarring for a Sonic game. It's already kind of jarring for this game. Well, there's the there's the gem path. So I'm guessing I'm gonna go on that, and it's gonna send me back to uh, gonna send me back to the start of the level. I'm guessing that's where this is gonna go. Wump of fruit are laser resistance. That there's my box. All right, take me away. Yep, it's kind of mean there, devs. Kind of mean. Some like uh, some sweet new grounds music, a la 2004. Uh, can I? How do I get that lower box first? Can I aim precisely enough? Okay, good. There we go. him with fruit. I gotta walk back to the start of the level. Uh, I, I did get the one box that was still outlined. Are there ones that did not have outlines that appear? I think I've gotten everything. Yeah, we're good. No, it, it drops you off right in front of the boxes that appear. It's 22. Oh. I also didn't do the, the hidden levels. I saw the sign for the motorcycle one. I didn't go to that. Grass, Coco. Remember, it is not only Dr. Cortez that the battle. Beware of Uka Uka, my children. He is a far more dangerous enemy than anyone can imagine. I mean, you say that. He doesn't have much of a track record, and he's kind of just as goofy, honestly.
game in which you need to use the other racer's bodies to turn sharply enough. Now that's some F-Zero level of shit. I mean, you're not required to do so here. But I was able to do so. Oh, no! Damn you, Popo. So I missed a box already. I'm not getting the gem here. Still gonna make a make an attempt at the crystal and fail. Man, if only there was a quick reset button, but that would be far too convenient. All the quality of life changes they make in this game, and I couldn't think of that one. Like, did they not play the game? So those are my two guys, but I'm not going to catch up with them in time. Probably. Oh, I missed one of the boosts. Oh, oh, it's so close! Damn it. Art style here reminds me of the Goofy movie. Like, in, the, in these particular levels, the motorcycle ones. I can, I can kind of see it. Apparently there was a, uh, there was a PC skateboarding game based on the sequel, the Extremely Goofy Movie, which I, I was not aware of until, uh, Jack pointed it out while we were playing Tony Hawk. I guess that exists. There was, like, a, a demo disc bundled with cereal. I would like that boost. No, you're gonna body block me? Alright. I don't know why I'm even bothering with the crates. I already missed several. Gotta drift. You ain't out of control, you ain't in control. Go around this ramp, a lot of memorization, and this guy's gonna keep me from turning. Yep. It's the most nuisance racers. I can still catch up. This could be the crystal one. How am I gonna get around this guy? Is he gonna turn? He is, but that's still going to, uh... Okay, here we go. Why did I not get the boost from that one? Okay, we're good. Crystal acquired. Where's initial D when you need him? Was that actually the character's name? I never watched initial D. I know it had, uh, PS1 racing games. I think it was PS1, maybe some but PS2 as well. I know it was at least popular enough to be parodied in Lucky Star. That's my initial D experience. And running in the 90s was initial D too, wasn't it? Alright, nice and slow. And here's old man Crash going for a leisurely Sunday drive down the highway. Looking for some spare boxes to buy groceries. I need a little bit of speed for the ramp so I can get the groceries up top of those. Don't fuck with me, Popo. I need my groceries. Everybody was running in the 90s. Doot, doot, doot. 
Uh, this road appears to be closed. Y'all are in the way! Share the road! Holla holla! Bandicoots for life! Oh no! Are Crash and Coco still gonna be hanging out with Aku Aku when they're old bandicoots? I think that's gonna go on forever. He, he's like immortal, right? He's gonna outlive them. those last couple boxes. I ain't seeing them. Oh, there's one. Watch me get bumped out of the way. No, we're good. Oh, got it. Is that all? Got him. All right. Cool. A, uh, I remember posting uh, a uh, funny picture with Crash and Plank or something, like, way long ago in the Discord, when I was playing the original games. I don't remember what that picture was. Death Battle, Crash Bandicoot versus Johnny 2x4. I think I like the Egypt levels somewhat. They're just kind of bogged down by a Tomb Waiter. That, that's the one, like, lousy Egypt level that weighs down the average. I think I saw this one had two gems. I didn't. See, oh, this is the this is the last level of the game, so it's gonna have the the five gems path. And I do not have all five, five, six gems yet. I'm still missing yellow gem because I need relics for that one. Gotta dreidel my way to victory. Well, I can't do anything there. Fuck it. Here, have a free invincibility. I guess they just put this in because they knew this was going to be their last plat crash platforming platformer. Or they probably had an idea, at least. Almost jumped off. How could you not like those gators having a good time? They really look like the alligator from Princess and the Frog. Just big, fat, cartoony alligator. Or, uh... Wasn't there a character like that in, like, uh, Fievel Goes West? Or, uh, Fern Gully, The Borrowers? One of those? Didn't that have, like, a, a fat, jolly alligator character? Should have shot those. Mm. 
Uh, were there nitros back there I didn't shoot? There were. There we go. Now, uh... Spin to win! That's the golden Naughty Dog rule, though. They do three platformers in a racing game. Now we just gotta wait to, uh... Is there an Uncharted 3 yet? Can we expect Uncharted Kart yet? Is that gonna happen? Uncharted Desert Racer. Or they'll just do three Uncharted and then just, uh, like, lobby their hardest to get Drake in, uh, Nathan Drake in Mario Kart. Well, our contract with Sony's over, or whatever the hell contract they have. Uncharted 3 came out in, like, 2011. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't, I haven't followed that series. All right, so we'll beat Cortex, then we'll uh, come back next time to start on relics and uh, remaining gems. That'll be the plan. So let's get us our running shoes. Cortex stole our shoes and Crash is pissed. I'm this is the part where I'm supposed to be angry, full of rage. Can you echo more, please? Does uh, does Uka need to be on Cortex to talk? I don't think so, right? Is he just doing that to like interrupt him? Tantrum Cortex. And then Mattle Desk Mask Death Battle. Yep, fire your gun. Your very slow reloading gun. Oh, they can explode in the air. I did I didn't know that. Can I shoot him? I can probably shoot him back. No? Wait, what? I don't have my gun. How come I don't got my gun? Is that mask dependent? Does does it run on the mask's magic? No mask, no gun? What? I feel like this, I'm coming back to this. Like, I noticed that the first time as well. Hey, get in there. Now that just makes no sense. In Wrath of Cortex, the gun was a mandatory part of the final boss fight. This remix is Muchos Excelente of the, like, the original Crash 3 boss battle music. Why is it Ancient Ruins, by the way? I guess this is where Uka Uka was sealed? Is that supposed to be the case? Booga Booga! Rutabaga! Rutabaga!
This is what I think of your rutabaga. Uka Uka just watched. I didn't I didn't realize until now there's a point in the song where it just starts shredding. All the 16th notes, 32nd notes. Talk about boobs. There it is. Yeah. You got one more stream, at least. Well, it's gonna take more than that for the relics. Even for only gold, not platinums. We saw that in the first uh, first two Crash games. Well, the first one. I think I skipped it for the second one, too. All right. We've got... Uh, I guess we need to get a relic before the, the secret warp room opens up at all. And we still got the bonus level to do, too. We'll get to that. Where are we at? 50%? 56. Alright. Oh. That's it for today. I've been going a little, um, a little over three hours. Three and a half hours. I'm gonna call it for now. And I will come back to uh, more Crash 3. I probably take two more streams to finish this off. And hopefully I'll get it done before Nitro Fuel comes out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.